Hello, uh, I'm Nick. I work for Warwick's Wildlife Trust and I work on the natural flood management project on the upper Sherbourne River. And uh, one of the things about working in anything to do with water and floods is it's good to get out in the rain. So it's a Sunday, uh, late morning, it's raining here and it's been raining very heavily all night. So I was very keen to come out and see what, um, what the water's doing and if uh, what we've been doing is having an effect. Um, so it's not been very wet for months now, but we did some work back in the spring, putting in some little leaky barriers on some ditches in a farm. And I'm just standing next to the ditch, which you can see running well with water. Um, and I was keen to see whether the barriers were working, whether they're grab grabbing the water. So uh, I'm well chuffed to come and see that they were. If we go and have a look. We'll go and have a look at these. These are basically little leaky barriers and what they do is they just grab the water, put the brakes on it a little bit and um, oh, there's a raindrop on the lens. There we go. And um, there we go. And they just slow it down. So essentially that's water that's being slowed from getting down to where it could potentially be flooding down in Aldley. Um, we're not stopping the water, the water's still going to go through the system. We're just slowing it down, putting the brakes on, and essentially it'll take longer to get to where it could potentially flood, which gives the water that's already there a chance to discharge and uh, less chance of this crossing somebody's threshold and making their carpets a bit wet. So uh, um, I'm really pleased that this is working. Really simple little things, leaky barriers. They're uh, just a couple of posts with some stakes across the ditch. And uh, the idea is they are leaky, so they don't stop the water, it's not a dam. Um, the water usually flows underneath. There's a gap underneath that, and the water usually flows underneath it without actually touching any of the barrier. But when you get heavy rain like we've got now, um, it, uh, that's when they start to kick in and just slow that water down. This is one that we built in the spring. We've got some more through the summer. Um, overall, I think in this area, we've probably got about 40 of these barriers and uh, uh, they're spread out loads basically in the whole project area we've probably got more than that maybe 60 or more and we continue to look at the places to build them even more so every single one is just grabbing a few a couple of cubic meters of water there and um, cumulatively across the whole area that's making a difference and that's just one of the types of intervention that we we do and uh, and that we work with and um, my wet dog is really impressed. Look how impressed she is. Oh. Okay, so anyway, it's uh, I'm going very wet. Maybe it's time to um, uh, go back and dry out and uh, and have some lunch. But I uh, thought I'd like to share that with you. And uh, yeah, that's natural flood management in action. Oh dear. She wants to go home now. Cheers.